Hello, it's Sarah, and today's video I am prepping to do these beautiful little eggs for Easter for any time. They're so cute. I shared in my previous video this egg that I've had forever. I did it years ago um, and found it's a Barb Nielsen, Barbara, see I'm a name shortened, Barbara Nielsen Designs. So I ordered a couple, a couple of her patterns and I had shared that I got some eggs. Now this one that I'm going to do the big one on is just from the Dollar Tree. And I've had it in my stash and I decided to paint that. And it's a bit smaller than her pattern, which I'm going to show you how a workaround around that. Um, but it did take me a good three coats to prep these eggs. I got these at Michael's and they're, they're in a three pack. I have more, but I only did three. And um, it took, I, I sealed the wood first. These are wooden eggs. And it took at least three coats. So I just did that yesterday. Um, put the TV on and kind of just did that. That's the, I hate that part. <laughs> I'm being honest. It's just, I mean, but see, you can look at it and just be, but I like getting to the nitty gritty. So that's my favorite. So today we're, we're moving a little to the next step, which is to trace the pattern on. And every pattern packet you get, the artist will give you those instructions of how they like to do it, okay? So it's all there for you. Um, the other thing about this specific piece, it is a pen and ink. It's, a, um, it's done with a permanent ink pen, and I ordered them. They're not here yet. And then this is the other thing that was different about it, was this Sorel paper. This is wax-free transfer paper. So normally I would use whatever you get at Hobby Lobby and trace my pattern on and you're good to go but for this because you're going to be inking over it you don't want any wax because you need to erase anywho I followed directions now here is the tracing let me find the here's the tracing but I want to show you on the original design my egg and now I could have shrunk this pattern down so I could have put this on my printer and kind of um, reduced it about you know 25 percent or something and played around with it but i like the size of the bunny and the um chicky like i really like the size of it so i'm just gonna take out a few things so i'm gonna alter it how i want to so how i decided to get the trim now here's my tracing so i can tell this is the edge of the egg um I'm going to have enough room for a border on the bottom. So I'm going to go from here to here and get me a border and put this on. And then up top, maybe I'll put one bird in the middle, but I'll, I'll alter that. Like maybe I'll just shift it. <coughs> I haven't decided yet, but I wanted a border. You could also just put it on here, center it as best you could. Without a border, that's an option you know, um, and just put dots, which is, you know, that's another option. But I already went with the border, so I'm doing the border. How I'm going to do that is I took my, this is, what is this called, a compass. I'm going to put, this is a, actually a fabric chalk, so I'm hoping it's not waxy because my, if it is, um, the ink won't, won't be able to write on top of it. So we'll see, I could be in trouble. But I just kind of measured from this pointy edge to the border edge. And I'm just going to take it and go around my egg. Very gently. I, oops, see it got a little narrower because I had it at an angle. You got to hold it kind of perpendicular, do you know what I mean? I, I flipped my wrist a little and it got um, more narrow. And now when I place, I know you can't see that very well, but when I place my tracing on here, I can line things up better. Really I'm going to use these lines on the tracing because those, this middle line connects to that inside border, okay? 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this Sorel paper, the blue side down, and I'm just going to trace on the main lines. Um, so none of the, like, if you look at this, you know, like, I'm not going to do his little hair or, you know, the eyelashes or anything. I'm just going to put where everything goes. Let's see. Yeah, like, I'll put the bow. I'm not going to put these little baby flowers, you know, just because I'll do that all with a pen um, when the pen comes. And I'll share a little bit of that when the time comes. But I do believe... There's a couple ways to go. I could ink every I could ink everything first with the pen, which I don't have, and my impatience will be tested because <laughs> I'll want to paint. And then, I, or I can wash everything first, put the color on first, and then ink after. So I'm gonna first do one step at a time, one thing at a time. I'm gonna get the pattern on there, and then I'll decide how, how to move forward. All right. So that's it. Let me just show you one other thing. So let me just make sure this is straight. Looks pretty straight to me. Um, just eyeballing this on here. From here to here, pulling it down a little bit. And then once I'm in, I would like to actually tape it on and I think I'm gonna. So here's how I would do that. I'm just gonna t take a notch out of the paper. Here, I'll do it without lining it up. And then some, I don't need, yep, I do. I have scotch tape, but washi tape works great, or, you know, painter's tape. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna put it on my pants a couple times to take the stickiness off. It's an old trick we used to do before washi tape got really popular. Um, I'm going to line it up again because that way I don't have to worry about the paper moving out of, um, oh, wait a minute, first get it straight and then I'm lining up my pencil lines of the edge and then this little, I can't talk and straighten. Okay. I think I want to go up a tiny bit because this little flower, I want to make sure it fits on the. All right. I think I'm going to go. Right here. So I'm going to use this, put it right there. My pencil fingers are on there, but now that's in place. Now I can fit this Sorel paper under here, and I can trace using a stylus. And I like to use a really thin, one of the smallest tips that I have. You can use a ballpoint pen, you can use a pencil, um, and just gently put on the main lines. So let's just start. I'm pushing very gently. I'm going to get my little bunny's arm. And it helps to have the picture nearby so you can double check and make sure that you, you know, your placement is good. But take your time, and again, this all of this is going to get erased. This is not part of your painting. It's just a guideline for me to put my little bunny on here. So let's see if it, if it shows up. I've never worked with this. Well, I probably have. So see, it's very light. Let me come in and show you. I don't even know if you can see that on camera but there's very light blue lines and I love it. I'm very excited. Um, so I will continue and get this done and I'll come back and share the neck. Now, imagine how it's gonna be when I do this. This is what I'm gonna do for these eggs. 
I have these little tracings. I'm going to cut them apart. And this is going to be a bit more difficult, but I think because it's a, a, a circular, you know, design, I think I have to base coat this underneath circle first. So before I even trace anything on, you have to make sure you're following directions because I'm a jump the gun girl. So yeah, each of these circles or hearts has some color inside. So before I, I just have to put that shape on and then paint that first. So for this bunny, this little guy, the same design I'm putting on an egg, it's an oval. So I just have to be able to, maybe I could even freehand it, but no, I think I'm going to try and, you know, it's going to be fudgy. I won't do that on camera. <laughs> But there may be something in the directions that helps me do it, like maybe cutting this like this to get it to fit better. I don't know. And I, it's okay if I have to retrace it. Anywho, I will be back and happy crafting. Thanks for watching.